Elliot? Ah, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? A drop of whiskey. Just a drop. Breathe on me. <sighs> you heard me. <sighs> of all the times you could have picked, did it have to be now? What? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? A guy I know is having trouble with a two-bit mafioso. He asked me to go with him, just in case. I didn't have to get it out. Well, don't. Don't start taking on the Mafia. Not now. You really don't know? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes time he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? He spent almost 20 years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... I'm fine. Thanks. My hand? Just because I didn't use the gun doesn't mean we didn't run into problems. But nothing I couldn't handle. What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um... Come in, Milton, come in. Delphine, I'll tell you later. Now... You said you'd never treat me like that again. I'm glad I could confirm that you're okay. No, and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Seriously, you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me, this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it.
Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. Just a little further. Just follow me. This plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. I don't think so. I don't think so. And may I ask why? It's not the first time I've done a job like this. And I never was any good at getting killed. There's a first time for everything, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here. Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> A white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? <laughs> speak with Nikolai Ivankov. Can you help me? I'm sorry, pal. The mummy repair center is over on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, uh, sweetie chops. Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. If he's like that with me, think what he'd do with you. What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. to be here. Where's the ship? Looking for someone. We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? It isn't moored? <laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean.
You know that we punish children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday, it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh-huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll or the plush toy? Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? And today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. On the contrary, you tried to help Bruno, putting your own life in danger. Very few children would do that. We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best?
protect him. Is she here? My father asked you to take care of me. Is this how you respect a dead man's wishes? Screw everything I said. He's Al Capone. He may not have much left, but he'll have something. Life's full of little twists and turns, huh? Eh?